Right. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is calling for a probe into the <laughs> opponents of a mosque at Ground Zero. There is no question uh, that uh, uh, there is a concerted effort to make this a political issue by some. And I join uh, the, uh, those who have called for looking into how is this opposition to the mosque being funded. Well, but Pelosi's stance on the mosque has some upset. Deborah Burlingame is co-founder of an organization called 9-11 Families for a Safe and Strong America. Her brother, Captain Charles Chick Burlingame, was the third was the third uh, the third was the pilot of the American flight 77 which crashed into the Pentagon Deborah um, right Nancy Pelosi's comments you heard them I guess she's going to investigate you I'll have to start saving my parking receipts were you uh, stunned to hear her her tone and in her focus uh, you know what I I, I can't even uh, imagine what's going on in that woman's mind it, it just goes to show how out of touch uh, some of our leaders are in Washington. They have no idea what's going on in the real world. They see everything through the lens of power and politics. And meanwhile, um, here is a threat uh, to people that's causing great harm. Um, it's a serious concern going forward in terms of what this mosque at Ground Zero will mean to our enemies in the Muslim world, who will see it as a symbol of victory and who will use it to, to recruit um, because they will see it's this 15-story structure uh, with a commanding view where 20,000 body parts were collected as written by the divine hand of God. That's not something that would be good for our country. And Nancy Pelosi needs to get her head out of the sand and, and help her country. She needs to wake up. So many people were confused about the Speaker Pelosi's statement, so she went on to try to clarify. Here's a full screen of what she said. The freedom of religion is a constitutional right. Where a place of worship is located is a local decision. I support the statement made by the Interfaith Alliance that we agree with the ADL, that there's a need for transparency about who is funding the effort to build this okay. Islamic center. At the same time, we should also ask who is funding the attacks against the construction of the center. I don't suppose that makes you feel any better that she's also calling for an investigation into the funding of the mosque. Well, you know, no, notice how she has to couch it with organizations to protect herself. And, and by the way, I suppose Barack Obama would consider her religious bigot, too, um, because because she's questioning the finances now. Uh, but we're glad to see that for whatever reason she's on board. And yes, we do have to watch this money. But you have to remember, um, this man has uh, um, gotten money for his organizations and his projects uh, from the Middle East. That uh, seems to be the exclusive location where he goes again and again to get money. And Saudi Arabia is a great concern because th the, the Wahhabis in Saudi Arabia, the, the Wahhabis are the one that funded the 15 right. hijackers, um, enabled them. Uh, they've been building mosques and madrasas and, and um, Islamic centers all over the world and including the United right. States. And when they said they could only find that piece of real estate in New York City, that is just uh, flat out false. But Deborah, you have so much more because you're doing some investigating on your own to talk about. We've got to have you back. And thanks so much for sharing your view. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, okay. Deborah. Thanks. All right. Uh, there's some of the most bizarre.